Hey folks, uh, this lesson is Greatest Common Factor. It's our fifth lesson of our textbook. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me see. Oh, it's our fifth lesson. Is it our, yeah, it's our fifth lesson. Sorry, I get to, I get sidetracked with uh, things I'm doing. All right, you guys, I've been putting this uh, up in every, the beginning of every video, you guys. Um, if you can, uh, it's so important uh, for your success in a math class to, to memorize or whatever, whatever gimmick you can to know your multiplication tables up through 10 times 10. It just will make the rest of your math life easier. Um, otherwise, you're just going to continue to be struggling with math. So if you can, just start. I would start with, um, you know, the box of 4 times 4. So I, I, I would deal with like this box right here. Um, I'll highlight it in red. So Here's a column of four all the way down to four, and then we'll go all the way up. So, I, you know, if we maybe do three times three and no, get to memorizing these numbers right here. And then once you can, then you can expand those to make it five times five. And then, you know, I can, once you get four times four, you can start with three times three. Here's five times five. So you can, you can, and then once you get that down, then you can do six times six. I, you can get this done within a half an hour and then and just keep practicing and keep practicing and i'm telling you it'll make the rest of your math um, uh, study so much easier if you just know up to 10 times 10. some of you guys already do some of you guys know up to 12 times 12. some of you um, uh, kind folks uh, know a lot more than i do on multiplication tables and that's good it just uh, makes your math life a little easier whoops I was helping another teacher there. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, talk about this, the greatest common factor. So factors are share, um, that are shared by two or more numbers are called common factors. So uh, the greatest of these common factors is called the greatest common factor. Well, duh. So when we call that GCF or greatest, so this stands for greatest common factor right there, okay? In the next lesson, it's going to be least common multiple LCM, but we'll talk about that when we get there, okay? So one way to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers is to list all the factors. And, and so factors are... Yeah, um, uh, like factors of 24, all the numbers that go into 24. So here's factors of 24, okay? So um, uh, I know one goes into everything. So one's a factor of 24. Two goes into 24 um, 12 times. This is one times 24. This is two times 12. And we're looking at factors of this number right here, 12. Three goes into 24. It's three times eight. Four, four goes into 24. Four times six. Now I know I'm at the middle spot right here because six is the next biggest one and it pairs with this one. So I can just go, there's my six, this times this is 24. Okay, so this one's gonna be eight because eight times three is 24. And then uh, the one with this two is gonna be 12. Finally, 24. Okay, so let's do 40. Okay, it's one and remember it's one times 40. So I'm gonna do this end here. 2 goes into 40 20 times, so I'm going to do 2 and 20. 3 does not go into 24, but 4 does, 4 times 10. 5 does, 5 times 8. There's the last pair, okay? So then, now there's all, here's all the factors of 24. Here's all the factors of 40, and the book is asking us to circle the common factors. So the ones they have in common, the twos they have in common, they both don't share threes. They both don't share fours, but they do share, I'm sorry, fives but they do share fours. Um, they don't both share sixes. They both share eights and so on. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to circle those ones right there. And then, uh, so the common factors are one, two, four, and eight. They all have one, two, four, and eight. One, two, four, and eight. And we look for the biggest one. The biggest one is eight. So that's what the GCF is. The greatest common factor of 24 and 40 is eight. Okay, so um, another way we can find the greatest common factor is using factor trees and get the prime factorization. So we'll do that uh, shortly. And then uh, the greatest common factor is the product of the common factors of the numbers. And you're thinking, what? Well, the explanation is pretty easy. So let's get the factor trees first, okay? So we're going to find the greatest common factor of these guys with prime factorization. So we're going to do factor trees for 12 and 56. Okay, now 12, I'm going to break it down to 2 times uh, 6, and I circled the 2 because 2 is prime, and then this breaks down to 2 times 3. 
Okay, 56. Well, 56 is, and again, that comes off that table. It's 7 times 8. So I'm just telling you, that table's so important for your math success. I, uh, every kid that's pretty good at math, they're pretty good at their multiplication tables. So when people that struggle at math, they struggle at multiplication tables. And, and I, 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 I hate to, to keep, you know, bringing that issue up, but it, it, it's just a fact. You just get better at math if you know your multiplication tables. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, anyways, prime, this not prime. This is 2 times 4, so I'll circle the 2 and then break this 4 down 2 times 2. Okay, so now what we're going to do is write the prime factorization of each number. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Let's go ahead and do that. 56 is, I'm going to put the 2's first, so there's 3 2's and the 7, 3 2's and the 7. Okay, so the rule is we're going to circle the pairs of prime numbers that they have in common. Okay, so I'm going to circle these two 2's because they're in common, these two 2's because they're in common. They both don't share a 3, they both don't share this extra 2 or the 7, so I'm just going to circle those guys right there. Okay, and then now multiply this common pair times this common pair. So this is, we'll count this as 2 times 2. So it's going to be 2 times 2. So the GCF is 4 between 12 and 56. That's the biggest number that divides into 12 and 56. The biggest factor that goes into 12 and 56. That's why it's called the greatest common factor. All right, so here, let's um, uh, do these guys with um, using lists of numbers. In numbers 4, 5, and 6, we'll do um, prime factorization. Okay, let's list the factors of 8. Okay, so here's the factors of 8. 1 goes into 8, 2 goes into 8, 4 goes into 8, 8 goes into 8. 36, there's a bunch of them, you guys. 1 goes into 36, 2 does, 3 does, 4 does, 6 does, 9 does. This is 9 times 4 is 36, okay? And then 6 times 6 is 36. So there's no other factor other than 6 with that pair. 12 times 3 is 36. 18 times 2 is 36. And finally, 1 times 36. Okay, so now we'll, we'll circle the common ones. I think we're just going to jump to the, let's see. Yeah, circle the common factors. So they both have 1s. They both have 2s. They both have 4s. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so there they are right there. So the biggest one is that 4, so that's what the GCF is of 8 and 36. Okay, 18. 1 goes into 18, 2 does, 3 does, and then 6. That's the other side of it. So 1 times 18 equals 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6. Okay, it's 72. has a whole bunch of them. So 72, 1 times 72, 2 times 36, 3 times 24, 4 times 18, 6 times 12, finally 8 times 9, okay? All right, and then uh, circle the common factors. So they have 1s, 2s, 3s, uh, they have 6s, anything else? They both have 9s, anything else? They both have 18s, okay? So there's the common ones and the biggest one is 18 that one's a little harder to see so so the greatest common factor of 18 and 72 is is 18 all right here's 14 28 and 49 factors of 14 are 1 times 14 2 times 7 28 1 times 28 2 times 14 4 times 7 okay circle and then let's do 49 49 is just 1 7 times 7 and then uh, 49 so the common factors that they have are all of those and the biggest one that they all share is this seven so the gcf of 14 28 and 49 is seven okay now let's do this with the prime factorization okay let's go ahead so find the gcf of these numbers using prime factorization okay i'll come back to these a little bit later i'm just going to deal with four and i'm going to put 20 about right here and put that 45 right there okay do factor trees okay 20 is going to be 2 times 10, notice I circled the 2, and then this breaks down to 2 times 5, circle, circle, because they're prime. Okay, this one is 9 times 5, or 5 times 9, that way that's prime, and this is 3 times 3. Okay, prime and prime. All right, so there's the prime factorizations, and what do they have in common? They, they don't have both 2s in it, this has 3s and 5s, this has 2s and 5s, but they both have 
fives in it. So the GCF of these guys is just that five. That's all they have in common. But if they shared something else, we'd multiply those. Okay, so the biggest number that goes into 20 and 45 is five. That's the greatest common factor. Okay, here's number five. Okay, factors of 32. We got to do factor trees. Okay, so 32 is. I'm going to break this down to 2 times 16. I think I did that one as 9 times 10. Yeah. No, I did 4 times 8. I'm sorry. I didn't say 2 times 16. You get the same end result at the end. So, okay, this goes to 2 times 2, and this is 2 times 4. I'll, I'll come back to this one here. So there's 2 times 2, 2 times 4, and then break this 4 down to another pair of 2s. So 32 are all these circled 2s. There's 5 of them. So there's 32 right there. Okay, this is 3 times 3, and that's 2 times 5. Okay, so there's the prime factorization of that. All right, and then the greatest common factor is the product of the same numbers that they have. Well, there is a 2 there in this one, but that's all they share is that 2. So the greatest common factor of those two numbers is that 2 right there. Okay, let's try the next one here, number 6. Okay, so we're going to do factor trees of 45, 75, and 120. All right, 45 is 9 times 5, or 5 times 9. This is 3 times 3, so there's that. So 45 is 3 times 3 times 5. Okay, so uh, 3 times 25 is 75, so I'll break down the 25, 5 times 5, so there's 75. 3 times 5 times 5. 10 times 12, I think that's what I did on that one. Yep, so 10 is 2 times 5, and then uh, I don't know if I did 2 times 6 or 3 times 4. I did 3 times 4, okay, so this breaks down to 2 times 2. And as long as you circle the numbers, you know you're, you're done with that uh, tree branch or whatever you want to call that. So these are factor trees. So anyway, so once you get to a prime and you circle it, you know you're done with that little avenue. So this 4 wasn't prime. I had to keep going. Anyway, so 120 is, uh, looks like there's three 2s, a 3, and a 5. Okay, this one has two threes and a five. This one has one three and two fives. This one has a bunch of twos and a three and a five. They all have a three and a five. So if they all have a three and a five, my GCF is going to be three times five or 18. Okay. All right. So which pair of numbers has a greatest common factor of 15? Okay. So there's only one of them that works, you guys. And we can do a lot of process of elimination. This one right here, if the GCF is going to be 15, it can't be this one because 10 is smaller than 15. So the number 15 can't be a factor of the lesser number 10. So we can eliminate choice A. So I'll cross that off right there. And then um, if it has a factor of 15, then um, the last digit must end in a 0 or a 5. And since 21 is not 0 or 5, we can eliminate choice C. So 15 can't be a factor that doesn't have a zero or a five in the ones place. And this one has a one in the ones place. So I'm going to cross off choice C right there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is list the factors of B and then we'll list the factors of D and find out which one has the GCF of 15. Okay. So here's the factors. Now we could have done factor trees. That's fine. Um, uh, and then in prime factorization, but uh, listing factors also works also. So here's the factors of 30. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6, and then factors of 60 are all of these. Okay, and then if we circled all the common factors, they both share 1s, 2s, 3s, um, they share 5s, uh, they share 10s, Mm -mm. They share 30s, okay? So that would be the greatest common factor is 30. So we know it's not choice B. We can cross off that. It has to be D, okay? So we can we can circle D if we were saving time, but let's go ahead and break it down anyway. So here's factors of 45, these numbers. Here's factors of 75, these numbers. They both have 1s, 3s, 5s, and 15s. So this one has the greatest common factor of 15, choice D. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense and take care.